All right, what's up everybody? This video, we got a related rates problem. This is uh, finding how fast, fast the point's increasing moving along a curve from the origin. So we have a particle is moving along a curve, y equals three times the square root of three x plus seven. As the particle passes through the point 312, its x coordinate increases at a rate of four units per second. Find the rate of change of the distance from the particle to the origin at this instant. All right, so best thing to do here, draw a picture of it. So if we draw a picture, it's going to look something like this. Now we know you should have a general idea what a what a graph of a square root looks like, but this graph is going to look something like this. All right. And we have a point, we have a point on the graph, and it's moving along this graph here. All right, so what we want to know is how fast, what's the rate of change of the distance of this point here, or the particle, from the origin. So here's the origin. Here's the origin. Zero, zero. When it moves through the point, 312 all right and it increases at a rate of four units per second all right well it's not it increases at a rate of four units per second the x coordinate does so we need this distance here we want to know how fast is that distance changing so we need the coordinates of this point here. Well, what's the coordinates of the point? Well, we've got the x coordinate. Now remember, this thing is a point. It's in the form x, y. All right. So we have, we have the x coordinate here. What's the y coordinate? Well, what's y? Y is three square root of three x plus seven. All right. So there's the coordinates of that point. <clears throat> now we need, we need a fun an equation for this distance here, or a function for this distance. Well, if you remember back from algebra, if you have two points and you want to find the distance between them. So there's x1, y1, and there's x2, y2, those points there. Remember, the distance is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. That's the distance. So in, in this problem, We'll call this x2, y2, and we'll call this x1, y1. All right. So we have the distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. All right, so this is going to be distance is equal to the square root of x squared plus 3 square root of 3x plus 7 squared. So the distance is x squared plus 9 times 3x plus 7. All right, so remember when you square this, you square the three, that gives us the nine, and then the square, and when you square the square root, you get what's underneath the square root. And so our distance is x squared plus 27x plus 63. And so there's your, there's your function. <clears throat> All right. And so what we need to do now is we need to take the derivative. 
with respect to t. All right. So let's go ahead and write down what they give us. They give us the point 312. That's what we want to know when it passes through that point 312. And it says the x-coordinate increases at a rate of 4 units per second. So that tells us that dx dt, whoop, dx dt is 4, and we're actually looking for dd dt, right? We want to know how fast is this distance changing, so that's dd dt. So let's take the derivative, so dd dt is equal to, now, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, but I have a video on my YouTube channel on the shortcut for finding the derivative of a square root. All right. And just real quick right here. You can, and if, you know, if you need to watch the video, just go to my YouTube channel, search shortcut for finding derivative of a square root. And that video will come up. But basically, to take the derivative of a square root, and this only works on square roots, is 2 times whatever the square root is. That goes in the denominator every time. It's 2 times and then whatever this is. And then what goes in the numerator? Well, look underneath the square root. What's the derivative of that? 2x plus 27. All right, and that goes in the denominator, and that's your derivative there. And then don't forget times dx dt. Well, now we plug everything in. We plug the 3 in for x and the 4 in for dx dt. So dd dt is equal to 2 times 3 plus 27 over 2 times the square root of 3 squared plus 27 times 3 plus 63 and then times 4. All right. And when we punch this into our calculator, we get dd dt is equal to 5.3357 three seven five one and so that's how fast that distance is changing and they don't and they don't give us no wait a minute there it is yeah all right I'm back I don't know if you heard that I had to pause the recording weather radio went off thunderstorm warning but anyway yeah, they do give us, they just tell us four units per second. They don't tell us, tell us if it's inches or feet or whatever, but they do tell us seconds. And so uh, this would be, we would just put units per second. That's how fast it's, it's 5.3 and whatever the units are per second. All right, so you know that's not a bad problem. A lot of students, what they what they struggle with is uh, actually coming up with this, or you know when it's all simplified, they have trouble coming up with this thing right here. But you now that's all it is is the distance. How fast is that distance changing? What's the distance between two points? That's all it is. All right, so I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.